guys and welcome back to my channel and I'm so excited to be here with you right now oh my god I have totally missed doing my channel it has sucked that I haven't had the time life seriously just like gets so busy out of nowhere and all of a sudden I'm running around everywhere like doing all these things and don't have any time to film and that was not a tattoo that's just swatches and whew, it's been crazy but today um, I'm doing this look for you but I really like it I want to do something grungy something kind of gothy not really gothy but I got this new wig as you can see, her name is Rita, and she slay the game. Thank you! But I'm seriously, like, just, like, in love with this wig so, so much, and I just had to do a look with it, and I pulled out my metallic lip, and I was like, let's do this! So this is the look, and it's... Oh, guys, I like it. I do. I especially like the lips. I kind of went like full, you know, crazy mode, but that's what I wanted to do. So I hope that you guys continue watching this video and um, subscribe because there's more coming. Um, Cause, yeah. Um, and like this video if you like this super awesome look. And go ahead and comment down below. What have you guys been up to? Because I miss you guys. And what do you guys want to see on this channel? Tell me what you want to see because I'm all about making content that not only I will enjoy but that you will enjoy. So give me ideas down below. Hopefully there's a lot more to come. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Mwah! Peace and love. Bye. Hey guys, so let's go ahead and we're going to get started and I'm pulling out this oldie but a goodie, the Morphe 35P palette. And I'm using a couple different colors here. Um, I'm using that like white beige shade to just kind of get a base down. And then I'm going in with one of the purples. It's like that really bright bluish purple. And I'm just gonna put that into my crease. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a black to deepen up that crease and kind of do that outer V with my favorite brush of all time. Oh my god, I love this brush. It's my everything. And then, this is so unnecessary, but I took this Natasha Denona eyeshadow and put it down. And you'll see in a minute, like, I got annoyed. I mean, it's pretty, and I just kind of blended it out, but I wasn't feeling it. So, I decided to pull out my favorite MAC pigment. This is a uh, blue-brown. Oh my god, guys, I feel like a peacock. Like, this is how much I... Oh my god, it's so beautiful. It is so gorgeous. I mean, just look at that reflection and that shine, and it just looks so good with the purple. And I just love it. And then I just took some glitter. This is the Stilla Magnificent Metals, and I just put it in my corner, in my crease. No, my corner, not my crease. That is not my crease. That is the inner corner of my eye. And then I put mascara on. Which is not exciting. So then these are my lashes. These are I Envy lashes in diamond. And um, I think they're a little too big, big for my eyes. And I can't get them to sit correctly on my eyes. So we're just going to skip over that. Um, and next I'm putting down foundation. And this is my favorite Makeup Forever foundation. And then just, just in a moment, in a moment you will see the mistake. I did not wipe away my pigment, and that happened. <laughs> oh, I hate my life. But I was able to clean it up, I guess, and going over it with my Graftobian Ultralights palette kind of helped, and I'll fix it on my nose in a little while, but yeah, so now I'm just kind of contouring. I'm kind of more doing the non-touring trick than the actual contouring um i'm also not doing anything really on my forehead because i know that i'm going to be wearing my wig and uh, uh it's gonna get sweaty underneath those bangs so we're, we're just not we're just not messing with the forehead but yeah i kind of doing the non-touring thing and i do use a little bit of um shading 
just a little bit with Anastasia cream kit, but not much. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it all in. And you, it's a blend. I mean, it's blending. I mean, yeah. So that's what it is. set everything and I'm going to set with my favorite powder ever and this is the IT Cosmetics Celebration Foundation. Um, yes, I know it's a foundation but I like how it fits my face and it's yellow tone so it, it's not like perfect shade but it does the job well and it kind of like evens everything out so I really actually don't really care. I am such a hot mess in this video, honestly, like the fact that this turned out half decent, like I am shook. I am, I am proud. So I know it's probably like a hot mess and you're like, Liv, do you not see like all of like the mistakes that you have made? Like I do. And then I'm just going in with this old, old, like ancient shade and light palette and just contouring over the cream contour that really didn't show up like it never does and just slaying the cheekbones because my cheekbones need it and then I'm filling in my eyebrows but surprisingly the past couple days I've really cared about filling in my eyebrows today I was just like yeah no so I just filled them in with my Anastasia dip brow pomade and blonde so old had it forever just to do something and I take that same purple shadow and I run it underneath my eyes because I want, again, a little bit of grunginess. And my eyes don't do like the super blended out grunginess very well. So I just took the other end of the brush. This is the Urban Decay brush that came in the Naked Sense palette. And I'm just like, you know, smoking it out. I mean, I think it looks cute. And then, because I my eyes are so tiny, they're so small, that I put some white liner. This is a NYX Jumbo liner and milk um everyone i think has used this pulled out this old morphe palette it's not old it's kind of new but it's honestly it's been a year since i got it and um i still love it um i will clean up that line in a minute don't worry about that i don't know what happened and then i didn't show you but i mixed two colors from my anastasia moon child kit because i wanted to go with like an extra terrestrial glow <laughs> you know and then I'm going in with this clean color metallic lip gloss. Um, this is so a me metallic liquid lipstick. I don't know what clean color is thinking, but it's okay because it works and it's cute and I love it. I have like five of these and they're all great. And I went with this kind of bluish gray color, which unintentionally worked out perfectly with this look with the eyeshadow and all of that. I honestly don't know how my makeup turned out so nice. And then this is me just putting on my uh, wig uh, because struggle central, that's me. There was hair everywhere and it ended up with foundation on the back of it. I don't know how, don't ask me how I did it. And that is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and love. Why am I singing? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Goodbye. Tell me that you love me